Hey guys, welcome to my YouTube channel. My name is Melissa and I help people navigate through their mental health journey. And in this video, I'm going to share with you guys my experience with my first ever hypnotherapy session. So with that being said, let's get started. So before we even begin, let's talk about what is hypnotherapy. Hypnotherapy is the process of working through a guided meditation where you have someone who is facilitating it. You are tapping into a deep state of awareness and concentration. You are pretty much going into a trance and letting your subconscious mind take over to help you work through personal blockages that you may be experiencing and if you haven't seen my video that I posted earlier this week I talk about some of the struggles that I've been facing as far as dealing with intrusive thoughts goes I don't know if you guys believe in dreams and how they have meanings but I believe that certain dreams that you have do have meanings to them they are pretty much messages from your subconscious conscious mind trying to tell you something for the past couple of months I've been having dreams with a reoccurring theme and in all of these dreams I'm always being chased or running away from someone or something and so I kind of took that as a sign because like I said it's been happening more than once and I think that what my subconscious mind was trying to tell me that these intrusive thoughts that I've been running away from that I've been trying to resist is something that I'm avoiding because there's definitely something beneath the surface that I need to address and so that's kind of what led me to doing hypnotherapy because my motivation for that was to maybe get some answers look deeper into some of the things that might be beyond my awareness at the subconscious level having an expert help me work through that will help me you know maybe work through these stuff that I've been dealing with internally yeah I just kind of wanted to walk you guys through my experience and what that's all about because I've never done any form of therapy before luckily enough I had the opportunity and privilege to receive a session for free and so after my first experience it's definitely something that I wouldn't mind doing again because I'm sure that as I continue on along my mental health journey like I said in my past video that there will always be things that will surface that's part of the healing process that's part of what I feel like what we came here to do as human beings is to heal from the traumas that we've experienced in our life. My personal belief with this is that children from the time they're born up until the age of seven, they're very impressionable. We all go through and experience trauma in our life to some degree or form. Some people experience trauma at a magnitude more intense than others, but at the end of the day, trauma is trauma and it's something that we all go through and it's something that we cannot escape from in this lifetime as a human being. My perception of some of the thoughts of anxiety that I've been dealing with was maybe it had to do with this deeply rooted fear of abandonment. I was starting to believe that these symptoms that I've been experiencing is a sign from my subconscious mind that there's a childhood emotional trauma that I need to heal from because it's something that I've been suppressing all these years and it's manifesting itself in the form of intrusive thoughts. So let's go back to this session, this hypnotherapy session. Leading up to it, I was feeling very scared, feeling very fearful of what might have come up. Eleanor, who was the facilitator she went through a series of questions and I've never had to like really sit down and think of why do I feel this way where do you think this memory comes from and it was hard for me or difficult for me to work through at first because nothing was coming up but I found that the more that I focused there's many memories that surfaced that I didn't even think served as a connection to what I've been dealing with having her work me through that I felt wow now I kind of want to know more she guided me through this meditative trance and I as she was counting down I felt a huge wave of energy maybe that was me tapping into that that trance and there was a lot of memories that came up and there was certain experiences that I went through growing up that came up there was three people that came up in my life I don't want to get too much into it because my upbringing was very chaotic that might be a can of worms that I don't want to open up now but maybe in the future but I'll, I will share some insights into what I got out of it but yeah there was three people that came up my adopted grandmother because my my sister and I were adopted growing up. My adopted mom and my younger self. I pretty much had to go back into my mind. Have you ever seen movies of those scenes where or in their mind and you see hallways with doors and behind those doors are certain happy memories and then some doors are unpleasant memories that you're afraid to go into. I'm sure there's a lot of movies that kind of show that. That's pretty much the process of what that looks like. So there was a lot of doors that I realized that I spent all these years suppressing. I had to pretty much 
relive the experiences and instead of trying to shut down the emotions as it was coming up is just allow myself to feel it allow myself to experience it and allow myself to express verbally or whatever way I needed to with these certain people that I had in my life that I had a certain relationship with and it was very emotional for me there was a lot of tears that came up even kind of allowing myself to sit with that discomfort I found a sense of healing in that near towards the end I saw my younger self there's a lot more that went into this but I just want to highlight some of the biggest things that came from it I saw my younger self I saw myself as a seven-year-old oh my god when you look at your younger self you don't see yourself you just see a child and I felt intense compassion for my younger self I felt love and the number one word that came up in all of this experience was forgiveness you have to forgive yourself and you had to forgive the relationship and some of the ways that these people in your life had hurt you and that was maybe something that took me a very long time to work towards and so having to sit down and really really forgive them and forgive my younger self for allowing that to happen to me it felt really alleviating it made me realize that a lot of the things that I experienced as a child I took on on a subconscious level and it induced a certain behavior because one of the things that I've noticed within myself a lot over the years is I've always really 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 cared what people thought about me I used to go out of my way to change myself to be a certain way so that someone would think differently of me so I would get their approval and so having these memories come up it made me realize that those memories is where that constant need for approval and validation from other people came from the reason why I would seek the need for approval and validation from other people is so that deep within myself I can feel worthy of love and feel like I was good enough after visiting that and having that pro profound insight really really opened up my eyes some of the lessons that I can take away from this experience and having been guided through this hypnosis was that all of these relationships that I've had in my life with my grandmother my adopted mother and my younger self was there to teach me a lesson the trauma that they put me through was them projecting their own traumas onto me and they didn't know it and it was beyond their awareness they hadn't realized the impact of their trauma and it's not something to hold anger or resentment towards and if anything it taught me empathy on their end I was a little bit more empathetic and understanding just having that level of empathy helped me reach a state of forgiveness within myself for them and especially with my younger child I literally saw myself gave myself a huge hug and had to tell myself that I love you I forgive you you are enough and you are worthy and now I'm just gonna embark on a journey of learning to cultivate love within myself. I don't know exactly how I'm going to do that, but now I know what I need to do moving forward. I'm super grateful that I had that experience because once the session ended and I was coming out of the trance and the hypnosis, I felt a really huge sense of relief. I would say maybe it's like the second day afterwards. It's been two days since then and I've noticed that the thought within my mind has kind of quieted down. It's not as loud. Combined with meditation that I'm kind of doing on my own towards acceptance and allowing them to be there I've noticed that it's subsided a lot more if there's one thing that I can leave you guys with in this video is that the need for validation and approval to feel worthy does not come from external sources it comes from within and that has to do with learning to cultivate a sense of self-love for yourself because at the end of the day the love that you have for yourself will really reflect itself in the quality of your relationships and as you move towards and as I move towards a place of cultivating self-love from within and then the rest of my external environment and everyone in it and everything that makes up it will transform. So that's it. That's all that I have for you guys today. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace, much love, and many blessings to you.